Governor, let me start with what we just picked up on. What is your health uh, advisor, Amy Acton, has been somebody I've quoted a lot because I, d I just love that first quote she said, before, before a pandemic begins, everybody thinks the sky is falling. After a pandemic's over, everybody wonders why you didn't act sooner. Um, it, to me, is that quote just keeps getting smarter and smarter every time I, I, I read it. But what does she tell you in the number of overall, what does your testing capacity have to be to make you feel comfortable opening the, the state? Well, you know, our testing is increasing, Chuck, but it's not increasing nearly fast enough. Uh, we want to do a lot more testing. And, you know, we try to drill down every day when I get a report where we are. Uh, the reagent that was mentioned a moment ago is, is a problem. We've got hospitals that are chomping at the bit. They're doing three, 400 tests. They could be doing 1,800 tests. They've got the capacity to do it. But they get the reagent. It's literally rationed as it, as it comes in. So uh, we need some help probably from the FDA to, to widen that. There's some companies that have got some things coming online. Uh, so reagent is one problem. Uh, the other problem is when you get out into the into the field for the people who are actually going to do the swabbing. Um, many times they don't have the swab. So what we what we did in Ohio, Ohio State uh, University and our health department got together, uh, form, formed a group. And, uh, you know, they're working every day to get more swabs out. They're doing it. Uh, the, the liquid that goes into the tubes and all of those things. Right. So so that is starting to work and we're making progress, but we're not where we would like to be, certainly. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.